this video, I will show you how to access the Prisma data portal, how to execute spatial and temporal queries to get archived hyperspectral remote sensing data, as well as use the free and open source software EarthBit to visualize the requested data set. First, again, open your preferred web browser and type https colon double backslash prisma.asi.it. The sign in page opens, and now with your user credentials, you can log in. In order to access archived Prisma images, you have to select Catalog from the drop down list. After confirming by clicking Open, a default view of the catalog with a map view centered in Italy will open. You can easily zoom in and zoom out scrolling the mouse. On the left hand side, you see a menu bar. When clicking on the arrows, an extended view will open. In order to make spatial and temporal queries, use menu item Product Search. Here you can define the area of interest as well as a UTC time range. Let's start with the area of interest. For example, to search for images in the Apulia region in Italy, we could draw a rectangle. On top of that, we could extend our query by defining an additional UTC time range. In this example, we define the time range from 1st of April to the 29th of June, 2021. Use the Submit button to execute the query. The system will respond with dialog window showing the number of EO products found based on your query, as well as a detailed list at the bottom top. The list contains important information such as start and stop time of the data acquisition and cloud coverage and percentage. Important to note, products in the Prisma archive are only kept as raw data. When clicking on the image of interest, you could use a quick look function on the left hand side that visualizes the image as an RGB preview. It is highly recommended to do so to spot clouds over your region of interest. In order to get the image of interest, you have to add the product to the basket. A dialog window to set the processing parameter then opens. Here you have now the possibility to select the processing level of the requested data product. L1 is top of atmosphere radiance. L2B is bottom of atmosphere radiance. L2C is bottom of atmosphere reflectance. And finally, L2D is bottom of atmosphere geocoded reflectance. The remaining data fields hold standard values. You can edit them as you want. Press the Continue button to close the product selection. In this way, you have requested a product from an existing raw data. To finally order your request, change to the shopping cart view, select your data set, and click Order Items. The system opens a dialog window to confirm the submission. Now you have to wait a bit until your data is processed to the processing level you've selected. You will get an email notification once your data is ready for download, containing the username, the center coordinates, your remaining product's quota, and the product download link. Click on the hyperlink and confirm in the download dialog window. For example, the L1 product size is slightly less than one gigabyte. With a decent internet connection, the download process for a single image will approximately take less than one minute. To access the data file, the downloaded folder needs to be unzipped. The file type of Prisma products are .he5, which means HDF5 EOS format. HDF5 is a very common format, which can be ingested by a lot of image processing systems, both freeware and commercially distributed. Commercial systems are, for example, Harris Envy, and IDL, as well as Airdos Imagine. Free and open source software examples are the Nmap box, a plugin for QGIS, and a visualizing tool specialized for Prisma data called EarthBit, developed by Planetech Italia SRL. In this video, we will use EarthBit to demonstrate visualization of a Prisma data product. The tool is capable to load the data set, to navigate into the data, as well as to access its metadata. Click on the Open button and select your targeted hyperspectral Prisma product. The tool computes in almost real time and is quite fast because it takes advantage in using the PC graphical card to process the data. In the left window, you see the aerial extent of the image tile. On the right hand side, you have a quick look impression in true color representation. Assessing the RGB tab at the menu panel on the top, you could also see the data cube rendered by a standard lookup table and navigate in it. For instance, doing a zooming or panning. On the right hand side, you can access, select, and consequently visualize 
the different bands of the hyperspectral data cube. You can also display the metadata or attributes of the data set, selecting the Attributes tab. And finally, if you're interested, in the panchromatic layer with a spatial resolution of 5 meters that is co-registered with the data cube, you simply have to select the Pan tab. This completes my demonstration of the Prisma data product downloading process and how to realize data cube visualizing in a free and open source remote sensing viewing software system.